what our German so-called NATO allies just announced is absolutely baffling. It's such an egregious statement that all I can really conclude is that they're preemptively surrendering to Russia. This major weakness they admitted to is a known problem that the U.S. and other NATO militaries struggle from, but why reaffirm it to the enemy on the eve of World War III? Germany announced that it is out of ammunition, and that it will be almost impossible for it to supply any in the immediate future. I'm not talking about a rifle or pistol bullets. I mean ammunition for tanks, artillery, and fighter craft. You know, the ammo that really matters at the end of the day. Part of the issue is the incompetence of Germany's defense minister, Christine Lambrecht, who has had since the start of the Ukrainian conflict in February to procure ammunition stockpiles. But the problem goes deeper and touches a major Achilles heel that the West is suffering from. You see, components of the charges for artillery rounds and missiles are manufactured in China. What a major flaw in the defensive position of Germany. But the sad truth is, they aren't the only ones. All sorts of U.S. technology is completely dependent on Chinese manufacturing. We have the same issue making our own ammo without the need of Chinese suppliers. Not only are complex U.S. weapons dependent on the Chinese for manufacturing computer chips, but it is completely possible that the Chinese have hidden kill switches in these chips. They may be able to neutralize entire aircraft carriers, fighter jets, tanks, or satellites with the push of a button. Why wouldn't they have a secret way to self-destruct these components and render the weapon useless? The U.S. has a lot of stupid weaknesses like this. Another example is that America shut down all lead smelting factories for climate change. We have to order all our lead for bullets from overseas. How is that a strong defensive stance if a major war breaks out? We can't even make bullets. Let's get into the possible scenarios as to why Germany announced this. To me, it sounds like they're trying to tell Russia, hey, don't nuke us. We don't even have any ammo. Or, hey, when your tanks come storming across the border, we won't put up a fight. We are ready to negotiate. The only other possible reason is that it is a feint, a bluff to trick the Russians. I kind of doubt that, though. Another possible reason is that the politicians responsible are, are just inexperienced and ignorant. It's easy to read too deeply into mass mistakes like this. However, I really do think this is a type of olive branch being handed out by the German government. They don't have a way to out in the open say that if Russia marches to their border, they will not resist. This is a pretty good wink and a nod for the observant to notice.